I don't think you all know how long overdue a refresh is on this truck. And I'm excited to start making it happen. All right, guys. Uh, it's been a long time since you've seen a video from me. Uh, so it's just been busy. Uh, lots of hiking this year. I think I'm at 250 miles of hiking since March, and this is October, so in seven months. Um, working a lot, and also spent a lot of time on this truck. So uh, a lot of people have asked over the years who've seen pictures of this truck for a quick rundown on it. So I figured today's a good day as any, and I'll, let me flip this camera around and I'll show you why. So uh, today is Friday the 13th, October 13th, and I always celebrate October 13th as a weird pseudo birthday because I bought this truck 28 years ago today. Uh, bought it from a dealership in Tigard. It was used, barely. It was bone stock. This truck was black and silver. Um, drove it home from the dealership Friday night. It's my first rig. Uh, so I've had it a long time. Uh, you know, went through several iterations um, to get to where it is now. Uh, but I haven't drove it for about eight years prior to this year. Um, I've been saying seven, but I did the math. It's, it's actually eight. I daily drove it for fun for a little bit in 2015, then kind of parked it. Um, started it every now and then, started to put it on the trailer when I moved here, and it's just been parked for the last few years. Um, so for eight years now, it hasn't really seen the road. Uh, decided it was time to change that. So got uh, the permanent SP plates on Oregon, so it's registered. It's got a permanent registration. Um, decided just to start cleaning it up. And so when I did that earlier this year, several months ago, made a quick video kind of showing how the condition was then. Um, so let's run to that real quick. Oh, and I should mention, um, so when I put it on the trailer and moved it, I realized or I noticed the carrier bearing on the driveline was going bad um, when I was underneath it tying it down. So I knew that was something that had to be done. So this year, the first thing I did before I even drove it out of the yard here, um, to replace the carrier bearing on the driveline. All right, guys, I did not plan on filming this at all. And honestly, I've been working on this truck for a few weeks on and off now, but... I said I'd kind of document getting it back on the road. So, let me just show you what I've done tonight. I started cleaning the interior. Like I said, I haven't been in this truck for a couple years. It hasn't been on the road for, what did I say, six or seven years. It's far from perfect, but it's cleaning up nice. I just put some junk back in there, but it's getting there. So, one of the big projects was uh, the carrier bearing on the drive line or the support bracket, replaced it, which was fun to get the drive line out of this thing. Replaced it, got it back in, it moves. Um, one of the other major things I know I've got to do mechanically is I believe the caliper on the driver's side needs to be replaced. I honestly can't remember if it's this one or the passenger side. One of them was uh, had a broken boot and I wanted to fix it. They're so cheap, I need to fix it. So anyways, that's the quick update. Um, it runs, it starts, it drives. Well, I mean, I've moved around the yard. Um, it's registered. I just haven't put insurance on it yet, but I will probably this week because I plan on moving it up to the road to wash it, or at least the driveway. And I'll probably park it on the road for the weekend while I work on it. But that's the quick update. All the air works. Um, honestly, everything seems good. The fuel in this thing, um, the last time I got gas was 2015. So it's been eight years. It's probably been eight years exact if I can remember when I got fuel. But um, it's on the charger just because I had the air going um, to lift it and do some work. But that's the quick rundown. We're getting there. Um, honestly, pending that brake thing, this could be on the road this weekend for a quick drive. I'm not going to go far because I don't know how roadworthy it is right now. But we should be good. So that's just the update. And uh, I don't know. If I put together a video when it's all done, this will be the start of it, I guess. But she's close. We're getting her back on the road. Okay, so after that, um, I'd always knew that it had a bad brake caliper. Um, I never did anything about it, so ordered a new caliper, changed it out, ended up doing both sides, um, both calipers, new pads, new master cylinder, bunch of stuff. Cleaned it, you know, the, this is just primer, which is why it looks like it. Everybody always thinks it's a faded paint. It's, it's just primer. It never got painted. Um, cleaned it, cleaned the interior, and actually got it looking pretty dang good for being as old as it is, as old as it is, and for sitting as long as it has. All right, guys, I got another video that I don't know will ever become part of a video, but just replaced the caliper. 
driver's side of the Mazda. I should sit there. I just need to tighten the bolts. But uh, I keep forgetting to do updates. Kind of made a bit of a sunshade. I'm in the sun right there, but it's nice out right now. That side of the side will count because it's just going to be more and more in the shade. But just an update. That's where we're at. Get that brake on there. Get it bled. Uh, probably do a tune up and I mean, pending any other little issues, we could get tacos in this thing today. So there's just your update. Okay, so at this point, and I'm, I made notes so I can kind of keep track of everything. Um, I didn't film a whole lot uh, after changing the brakes. I uh, did the calipers and everything. Um, siphoned the fuel out because the fuel in it was from 2015. The truck actually started fine on it and ran on it, just not very well. So I siphoned it out, put new fresh fuel in it. Uh, did an oil change, did all the little stuff. Tried to go for a short drive, and this is where things kind of snowballed on this truck this year. Uh, had it in the driveway, decided to go for a short drive. Um, and keep in mind, we bagged this truck almost 20 years ago. Uh, aired up and went to get out of the driveway and couldn't. The back was only about half aired up, which was really odd. So struggled for a little bit that day and realized that my up valve for the rear quit working for whatever reason. Again, 20 years old, this was the first thing that had failed, so wasn't surprised. Um, ended up getting the truck back here to continue working on it and took the bed off. Decided if I'm going to do that valve, I might as well do all the valves. I'm going to do all the valves. I might as well do all the lines. If I'm going to do all the lines, I might as well redo the tank, clean things up. And it just kind of snowballed. So as it sits now, I went with new bags in the front for a couple reasons. Um, I wanted to try a new bag with an internal bump stop. And that would let me keep the bags that were in it as backup. So I have spares just in case. Because I was always concerned if I blew out a bag somewhere, even just a mile from home, I wasn't sure where to come up with a, an extra airbag today to get it home. So now I've got those two spares that are still good. Um, like I said, cleaned up the frame, just changed a bunch of stuff, and, and more or less cleaned it up. We did a lot of sanding, a lot of wire wheel, and then painted everything to make it look clean um, and got it all working. One other thing I did that I've never done on this truck is I put the compressor on a, uh, a button or a switch. So it's got a pressure switch, so it automatically comes on when it demands pressure in the tank but that would happen no matter what. So I put an actual override on it so I could turn it off when I knew I was, you know, not gonna need the air. Okay, so from there, it was just a little things, tail lights, made sure all the, the lighting was working, um, got the suspension good to go, and started driving it. And it took, I don't know, I drove around the block and realized it wasn't running quite right, um, which wasn't a big surprise. The engine's only got, let's say 5,000 miles on it, um, but it, just, it sat so long, so came back home, did a tune-up on it, you know, plugs, wires, cap, rotor, um, all the little stuff. Actually went and bought a timing light. I've never owned a timing light in my life or used one. Um, I've always just timed it, timed it by ear, and come to find out that never worked right, because when I follow the actual manual and adjust the timing, it was way off from where I thought it should be, which made a big difference right there. The other interesting thing is, you know, I put a Weber on here 20 years ago, a Weber carburetor. And 20 years ago, anybody who knew how to tune a Weber wouldn't help you. It was almost like it was voodoo magic. Now you can jump on YouTube. So I found a quick YouTube video um, and tuned the carb. It was super easy. It took me five minutes and this thing right now runs better than it ever has. Um, actually runs really good and really strong. The tires are old, um, but driving around, it, it spins tires like crazy. <laughs> So, I've been driving it for the last couple months. I've drove it to work numerous times a week, um, just driving it around town. And then last week, my whole goal was I just wanted to go get tacos in this truck. So I went and got tacos, learned that we had a charging issue, which I think we've always had. I think the alternator has been bad for a while. I've always put it on a battery tender when I was home. And I think that that was kind of the final straw. The alternator was actually discharging the battery when it wasn't running. So just put a new alternator last night. Um, but let me just show a couple clips of how it, you know, what it's looked like for the last couple couple months since I've had it back together. Um, and then sadly, we're getting ready to, to pit it away for the winter right now. And then it'll come out next year. And it's probably gonna get painted. I think I'm gonna paint it. Um, the bed is obviously off still because it just made it easier to make sure everything was working, but that's that. So that's just the quick story of this Mazda. And uh, like I said, I know a lot of people were asking about it. It's aired up right now, so it's not sitting on the ground because I got to 
put some blocks under it. I block it up so it doesn't sit on the ground over the winter. But just want to give everybody a, you know, a quick what's going on with that blue truck in the background. And like I said, I think come springtime, it's, it's going to get some paint. There's a little body work that needs to be touched up. Um, but man, you know, 15 years ago, this truck was looked good. It was a quick paint job away from being just immaculate. And I'd like to get it back there. It wouldn't take much because I can do it all from here. So a couple interior pieces, some paint. I'm trying not to dump a lot of money into it because, you know, I drive it, let's say, 50 miles a year. So um, that's it. We'll see you guys on the next one.